But now, scientists are going to test his mental ability. How much of Ronaldo's success comes from what his mind is doing on the pitch? He is as well a uh, little bit air of arrogance, you know, but believe that he is the number one. First, it comes from the fact that you know you can. Deeply inside himself, he knows that if he wants, he can pass anybody. If you are strong mentally, the quality is coming natural. So I always try to be focused in my game and um, my mental is, is quite good. To find out how his mental ability contributes to his performance, the scientists are going to start by testing Ronaldo's spatial awareness. They're fitting him with these state-of-the-art eye trackers that will reveal exactly what he looks at when he plays. Okay, left one. They are operated by equipment specialist John Ward. And up to the top. Perfect. That's good. And running this test is sports psychologist Zoe Wimshurst. With Ronaldo, he's going to be using all of his senses pretty much while he's playing. Probably around between 80 and 90% of the information that he's taking in will be coming through his eyes. During this test, Ronaldo is going to try to stop Andy taking possession of the ball, and the technology will reveal how he does it. So John, the eye tracker, explain to us exactly how this works. Okay, so you both wear an equipment where we have a camera looking at the eye, yep. and it uses infrared light to reflect from the eye. This picks up a, an image, and we have a camera at the front here that looks at what you're seeing, so mm -hmm. yourself and Cristiano. The software will then match those two together. We'll see exactly what you guys are looking at. Fantastic, let's do this thing. Okay, let's see if you can keep that ball five seconds away from me. Play. That's good five seconds, that's a good five seconds. That is quality. There's no doubt that Ronaldo's feet are fast and effective, but what part does his mind play in this ability? The eye trackers show intriguing results. On the replay, the little red dot shows exactly what Ronaldo's looking at. You'd expect a lot of players to be focused on the ball the whole time. With Ronaldo, he did look at the ball a fair amount of time, but he was much more looking around, looking at the defender and taking in the information from his body and also scanning for the spaces beyond the defender. Andy, on the other hand, can't afford to take his eyes off the ball because he doesn't have quite the same ability to predict where the ball is going. To actually see what's going on, we need to slow it down to one third of actual speed. Yeah. That's how fast Cristiano is, so you didn't have much of a chance, I'm afraid. Thanks. In eight seconds, he pulled 13 moves on you. Okay, and we're not just talking kicks of the ball, we're talking step overs, spins. Oh, it was beautiful. So you can see here on the, the gaze data, you can see yeah. he's concentrating on the ball. But what you'll see, and the interesting thing, is when he wants to go past you and look at how you're moving, he's predicting where you're sort of going to be, he's looking for movement in the hips to sort of plan his next move. So he, he looks at the ball, then he looks at where I move, and then he executes his, his trick. You see it comes in, looks at your foot, looks to the other one, up to the hip. Really accurate, precise, sharp movements. And then when we look to watching you, you're mostly trying to follow the ball, which means you're only ever going to be able to react to where the ball is moving rather than anticipate in advance anything that he's going to do. So you're always going to be that one step behind. And also your eye movement you can see is much more all over the place. Well, my eye, this looks more like a pinball where my eye's going. He's locked in. You're constantly chasing yeah. him, basically. And I bet if you asked him, you probably wouldn't know what it was that he was looking at. It's all in his subconscious. He knows where he's picking up the information that's going to best help him. And without even thinking about it, he's looking for those angles of your hips, your knee and your foot. And obviously it's working pretty well for him. So that's just second nature to him? Yeah. 